Welcome to Watch 2 of the special children's edition of Watch's Prayer of Great Grace Network Bible Club. I hope you have been blessed so far. Aren't you amazed by the incredible stuff these children have had for us so far? I have been amazed. I have been blessed and I've enjoyed every part. Yes. And so, once again, I need you all to relax, sit back and enjoy the presence of God as these children have much more in stock for part two. But children, remember, see you this evening by 5 p.m. for Bible Club. Also, the theme for this edition is um, a chosen generation, which is taken from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Thank you and God bless you. Chosen generation call for to show his excellence. All I require for what God has given me, I know who I am. We are a chosen generation call for to show his excellence. All I require for what God has given me, I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what He says I am. When He says I'm at, I know who I am. Who God says I am, what He says I am. When He says I am, I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles, I'm living a life of favor, and I know who I am. I'm walking in power, I'm walking in miracles, I'm living a life of favor, because I know who I am. Oh, 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 I know who I am. Oh. We are a chosen generation, called for to show His excellence. All I require for what God has given me, I know who I am. We are a chosen generation, called for to show His excellence. All I require for life God has given me, I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what He says I am, where He says I'm at, I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what He says I am, where He says I'm at, I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm working in miracles, I live a life of favor, I know who I am. I'm working in power, I'm working in miracles, I live a life of favor, I know who I am. Oh, 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 I know who I am. Hello, my name is Daniel Babsmal, and I welcome you to the Special Children's Watches Prayer Edition, which will be a chosen generation. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for leading us into this 
sermon. And Father, Lord, I pray as we hear what we're going to hear today, help us to be blessed by it. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us open our passage, which will be taken from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, to show forth the praises of him who has called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Wow, isn't it amazing that we are a chosen generation? It also says in this verse that we are a royal priesthood. That means we're meant for royalty and we have a place in God's kingdom. It means that we're not just ordinary people and we don't have to have riches here on earth to be part of God's royal people. And also it says here that we are a holy nation. That means we're meant for great things and we're holy in God. The next part, it also says that we are a peculiar people. That means God call. Sometimes God calls people, but he doesn't choose people. God shows us for many things. And it also he says here that he called us out of the darkness into his light. That means God is reaching out to us to come from our darkness into his light so we can be a chosen generation. Now let's open to Judges chapter 2 verse 10, which is the next scripture. And it says, And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there arose another generation which knew not the Lord, nor yet did the works he had done for Israel. Can you imagine a generation not knowing the Lord? It kind of connects to Psalm 112 verse 2, which says, and his seed shall be mighty, and his seed shall be mighty upon the earth, and his generation of the upright shall be blessed. There's generational blessings and generational curses. In this case, as we're reading Judges chapter two verse ten, another generation of Israelites did not know the Lord, which means they did not even know if the Lord was with them or they did not care about the Lord. Let's go back to First Peter chapter two verse nine verse 9 that says that we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation. There's two things we can either be. We can either be the Israelites that didn't know the Lord, or we can be a chosen generation and a royal priesthood. Personally, I would be a royal priesthood and a chosen generation. But that's the big question for you. As you're watching, would you rather pick the good side or the bad side? Knowing God or not knowing God, it's your decision. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that our generation will be for signs and wonders in Jesus' name. I also pray that our generation will be powerful, glorious, and will shine and do the will of God and be filled with wisdom in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, as we've read this sermon, Father, Lord, I pray that it will touch the hearts of people watching. Jesus, mighty name, amen. Thank you and goodbye. Let us pray in Jesus' name. God, thank you for choosing us to be your nation. Please give us the power to spread your word worldwide and make sure it always stays in people's hearts so that they remember the great things that you did. Please help our nation to grow stronger and stronger. Everywhere that we go, we will be covered with the blood of Jesus. If there is anything wrong or any place that is suffering with us, with us there, I pray that it gets healed in Jesus' name. Children, you, you, but you are the chosen people. You are the ones who, who are part of God's nation. You are the ones who will talk wonderful things about what God did. You are a nation and you are going to be stronger and stronger as you keep on telling people these things. You will be greater and greater as you keep doing this. You will, you will always get stronger and you will become more wiser as you do these things. If for everyone listening to me, that's who you are going to be. God bless you. Oh, Baba, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, he
everyone, my name is Joanna and I am here to talk about a chosen generation. Our Bible reading is taken from 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 and it says, For ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye show forth thy praise of him who that called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The word chosen generation refers to the Israelites who were set apart by God to teach the other nations about him. The good news is when Jesus came and died for our sins, he gave us the ability to be adopted into a family of God. As members of a family of God, we have been chosen by him and have a duty to act in a way which shows the world that we are a chosen generation. Here are three, three qualities of a chosen generation. One. God's chosen generation is holy. You must be holy. God, two, God's chosen people show gratitude. Children, we must show gratitude. Three, God's chosen generation represents the fruit of the Holy Spirit. We must have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Now let's ask ourselves the big question. Do you have the attitude of a chosen generation? Remember, we are a chosen generation. God's chosen generation, God's chosen people are not proud. They are humble and willing to serve God always. As Christians, we are called to be unique. While God created us as human beings and wanted us to have great friendship, we must live by the word of God. In our Bible reading, God calls us a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. He wants us to be different. He wants us to separate ourselves from the crowd. Here is God's message to all of us. We are a chosen generation. People set apart. We are royal and holy. Therefore, we must step into a new identity in Christ Jesus. Thank you. Let us pray. Dear Lord, please give us the grace to live our lives as a chosen generation. Amen. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Thank you for this um, special edition of the Children's Watches Prayer this year. To you be all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm sure we have been tremendously blessed uh, through the lives of our children that have ministered to us. And you know, our theme is again from the book of First Peter chapter 2, verse 9, which says, For ye are a chosen generation. A version of the Bible says you are a chosen race. It doesn't end with one person, it's a generational thing. And that is why as parents, as guardians, as mentors, again and again, we cannot overemphasize the importance of handing over the faith that we have received to them so that they will be able to hand it over as well. Remember Timothy in the Bible, that the, the, it was first from the grandmother and then for, to his mom and then to him. So that is the trend. That is how God wants us to do it. He doesn't want it to end with us. He wants us to continue from generation to generation until we see Jesus face to face. So to this afternoon, tonight, anywhere where you're watching from, I want to encourage you as a parent, as a guardian, as a mentor, as one who oversees these children, any opportunity you have, 
make sure you pass it on to them and you know we want we're training them so that they also they pass it to their own children and their children's children until the fourth and the fifth and a thousand generations in the name of jesus uh the great grace bible club meets here every two weeks and we meet from fall to spring we have two more classes and we're going to finish it. Our next class will be in the next couple of hours, 5 p.m. Calgary time. And then we'll have more, more class in two weeks and that will be the end. But before the end of the month, we're going to have a big happening here in Calgary. And God has been gracious and merciful to us. Inspired by the Great Grace Network Bible Club, a book for children will be coming out. And we want to present it to you. We want to just, you know, present it to the world and believe that the Lord will make it travel worldwide to the glory of his name. So the book is titled A Collection of Bible Stories and Life Applications for Children. And it's such a very easy to read book, fully illustrated, very colorful. It will catch the eye of both the young and the teenage kid. So I want to encourage every one of you, if you're here in Calgary, uh, we'll send the invite very soon so you'll know the location and all the other details. We'll also be streaming online, so we're going to be sending the Zoom link as well. Uh, before we finish the special edition tonight, it won't be good not to pray for our children because that is, you know, part of what God has equipped us with to be able to, you know, pass this on to the next generation. So we're going to be praying for our children. Everywhere you are, children, parents alike, I want you to just close your eyes. Our dear Father and our God, we want to thank you for every child, every boy, every girl that is connecting tonight, this afternoon, this this um, morning, anywhere we're connecting from. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for your faithfulness and your love. Thank you, Father, for bringing them to the world for a purpose. Thank you, O oh God, even because there is no child that is useless. You have brought every one of them forth into the world for a special reason. And therefore, Father, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for that child right now that feels inferior that child that feels so low, that child that feels downcast, we declare and decree upon their lives that the Lord causes them even to know that they are a chosen generation, to know that they are a peculiar person and therefore they cannot be downtrodden in the name of Jesus. I pray for every child that is having a low self-esteem, every child that has inferiority complex, we declare upon you that you know from now going forward that you are a chosen generation and that the lord has made you to be his own choice person and therefore you do not need to to be low you do not need to feel low or feel low about yourself because you are a heir of god because you are seated together with jesus in high places in the name of jesus lord we pray for that sick child who is going through different sicknesses there's even a child that they don't even know exactly what's going on i pray that the bible says is there not a bomb in gilead we declare healing in the name of jesus he said he sent forth his word and his word heals them and delivers them from all their destruction we pray for healing we pray for deliverance in the name of jesus we pray every child that is depressed every child that is anxious we declare in the name of jesus that they have a sound mind for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind we declare soundness to that body right now we declare soundness to that mind in the name of jesus we pray for families who are looking unto god for the fruit of the womb we pray that heavens will open upon them we say it is time for their visitation in the name of jesus we pray according to the time of life like the angels told sarah i pray in the name of jesus that it is your turn i pray that we'll rejoice with you every family that is going through tough times that is going through hard times we pray peace be still in the mighty name of jesus thank you glorious father we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen and amen god bless you we'll see you next time